Welcome back to Sunrise with Sammy. Today on Sammy's Picks, we head to the Fisherman Huts at Palm Beach to learn how to kite surf. My instructor Zoe says it's less physical strength and more about control. But once you got it, it can be pretty relaxing. All right, we're down here by the Fisherman Huts and um, we're gonna try something new today kite surfing. I've never done it before, but this is Zoe and she's going to teach me a little bit of the basics. So hopefully I can do it. It seems to look relatively easy, but from what you guys are telling me, it's not, right? Well, it depends how fast you catch it. Yeah, most people think it's really, it's really challenging, but that's because they're not fighting the human instinct the way it is. So right. basically you're trying to learn a new, new language mm -hmm. and you need to drop everything you know and just start and just start Please. new, yeah. When something pulls you, your human you instinct back. Is, to, is to do this, yeah. to tighten up, right? Mm -hmm. But here you just have to relax because if you pull it back, it's gonna pull you harder. Okay. And just be. Just be. <laughs> just be. It's all in your body weight and you just need to relax and less is more. We have like an eight hour package and most people, they are riding on in the eight hour in package. Eight hour, yeah. yeah. So the first class is always um, with a one meter kite, we start on land, maneuvering the kite. Relax your hands. Oops. Send it back up, send it back up. Then we'll teach you everything about setting up your kite and heading into the water. We give you all the safety before we head in the water. Okay, so now you see the kite already has some form, but if I do this, it's still really weak. Okay, so I need to do it till that it's unbendable. The instructor will be with you at all times, so you will have constant coaching. And the second hour will then be body dragging where you're going to go from a much smaller kite, from a one meter to a three meter or six meter, mm -hmm. which is relatively a lot more power. Yes. And then, yeah, you're going to do exactly what you did on land, but in the water, and you're going to see it's a little bit more challenging than yeah. you think. Then most people get started on the board on the third lesson or the fourth lesson. Mm -hmm. So that's after six or eight hours. Over the years, it has become really, really safe. The kite has a really, really good um, eject system mm -hmm. so that um, you're going to have a leash on with your harness and whenever you eject, the kite just dies completely. Mm -hmm. And of course, for the students, we can give you a life jacket as well if you, if you would like. That's optional. And every student always gets a helmet. Gets a helmet. Yes. So it's, it's definitely safe while we're learning. Yes. This is basically my family's business. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of born into it. I've been on the beach forever. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've been doing it since I was about um, 10, 12. Mm -hmm. It's a form of meditation. Mm -hmm. You need to be fully present to um, be good, to, to, to do it good, to execute mm -hmm. it good. And also, what's well, not to like for this view every day, huh? I know, what's not to love? <laughs> yeah. Woo All right, 12 to 2, go for it, girl. After 